Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and today I'm going to show you how to groom a Yorkie face and how to clean Yorkie eyes. So I've been having a lot of people make comments and ask me to show them my at-home Yorkshire Terrier grooming routine. So I'm going to just set it up while I groom my dogs as usual and show you guys what I do at home with my babies. So all three of them, um, actually, well, all three of them were a little bit under the weather this week. I think they may have caught some kind of a stomach bug. Um, I was actually up pretty late last night with Lola and Poppy and they're not feeling so great today. So bear with me as I show you my grooming routine. They really need it because they were not feeling so well last night. Hi guys, so I am going to be grooming my dog Poppy here. I'm putting her on my coffee table so that I can see what I'm doing. And I would usually put a towel down, I completely forgot. These are my band scissors. If you look closely, there is a little curve at the very tip and that helps you to slide them right into a ponytail and not to actually cut your dog's hair. So be very gentle in everything that you're doing with your dog. And also when you slide the band scissors in, I gently pull the band away from the hair to make sure that I'm not cutting off any of her hair. If you do cut off any of the hair, you're going to have little short pieces that will be really difficult to get into the ponytail later. The first comb that I'm picking up has two sides. So one of the sides is very fine and one side is a little bit wider. I like to start with the wider side and if you notice, I'm actually brushing from the ends of her hair very gently and then I start at the ends and I work towards the roots so that if there is a tangle, I'm not going to start at the roots and drag my comb through, making it even worse. When you are grooming your Yorkie, you want to make sure to get into all of the areas. So please don't forget about their ears, their under chin area, their underarm area, and also right at the bottom of their rump, they tend to get some mats. It's really important not to have any mats on your Yorkie as once they form, you'll have a really difficult time getting them out. I personally think that brushing your Yorkie is actually a great time to bond with your Yorkie. Poppy, who is sitting on the table, absolutely loves to be groomed. So as soon as I take out the combs, she runs right over to me and she knows it's going to be a nice experience. So I take my time, I brush out her legs and I'm really, really gentle with everything because Yorkies are so teeny tiny and sometimes they can look a little bit bigger because of their fur, but they have very delicate legs and things like that. So as long as you do a nice job and you do it daily so that you don't have any huge tangles, your Yorkie will grow to love the time where you groom your Yorkie and they will run right over to you to have that special time and attention. I'm not actually getting into her actual facial area too much right now. I'm doing sort of a gentle, but almost like a rough draft of my grooming where I'm going over everything, but I'm planning on going into a little bit more detail later. And if you look in the background, you can see that Alfie is running around because he is also so excited to get groomed later. When I got my first Yorkie, who is actually not with me anymore. I was terrible about grooming and I didn't understand just how important it was to groom. So I dropped him off to the groomers and apparently he was very, very matted and they shaved his entire body because they couldn't get the mats out. So after that happened, I have stayed on my grooming ever since and it's actually a time that I really enjoy. 
I like to flip Poppy over very, very gently so that I can see exactly what I'm doing with her face. And if you look in the background, you'll see that I have my entire setup all ready so that I don't have to get up and get things. So I have a little bag with my elastic bands all organized. I have a wet paper towel that's sitting on a plate, a, a nice, very fine comb for later on when I need to get out some of her little eye crusties. And that way I can just get whatever I need without getting up. And that makes it a more relaxing experience for her. So I do think it's important to have a special small comb when you're grooming your Yorkies. I have tried to do it with a larger comb and it's really difficult to get into those tiny little Yorkie faces with even like a human sized comb. If you are in a pinch, you can use one, but I think that you'll find that just investing in a few, ex excuse me, investing in a few accessories that work well is really worth it. So if you go to the description of my video, I'm actually going to link to all of these tools that I'm using so that if you would like to get some for yourself, you don't have to research them and figure out exactly what you need. I have a little grooming box and I keep everything really clean. So before I put these tools away, I make sure there's no hair, there's no eye crusties, and that way you're starting with nice fresh tools every time. You need to be really careful when you're working around their eyes and just make sure that you're gently separating that hair so you can see exactly what you're doing. Obviously, we would never want to be poked in the eye and your Yorkie does not either. So just take your time with this and pay attention to what you're doing. They really trust you and so make sure you have enough light so you can see and you'll just do a great job doing this. It will feel a little bit awkward at first, but the more that you do it, the more it will become second nature to you. If you hear barking in the background, Lola is sitting with me while I do my voiceover and she is watching our new kitten to see if he wants to play. So this is a very fine comb and I don't go in with this initially because I like to get most of the tangles out before I use this. It's just a little too fine to work tangles out well, but what it is really effective for is just getting all of those little eye crusties and eye boogers out, and that is so important for your dog's eye health. They cannot do this themselves, and they're going to be so much more comfortable when you comb out those eye crusties and you keep their hair and their skin healthy. In between using this and getting out the eye crusties, I actually scrape them onto the paper towel just so that I have a nice fresh comb with everything that I'm doing. I always think that when you're working nice and neat and clean, everything goes better. So it might take an extra second or two, but I think it'll make your experience a lot more successful. I may be a little bit more skilled at grooming simply because I actually own a hair salon and I am a human hairstylist, so I like to think that that actually carries over into taking care of my Yorkshire Terriers. As you can see, Poppy is super, super relaxed and she loves our time sitting together. She loves to get beautiful and to be groomed and she's a very beautiful girl. I take a few little elastics out and I put them aside so I'm all ready to do the dog's hair. I don't take them out too early because my dogs will actually try to eat the elastics. They get into everything. And I am using a rat tail comb to gently separate her hair. Now, when I first had Yorkies, I always did one ponytail, but what I found was a lot of times that one ponytail was just flopping right into their line of vision. So I finally started doing a smaller ponytail right around their eyes, 
and I don't do it too tight. So if you feel like you're actually pulling your Yorkie's eyes up with their ponytail, it's going to be too tight and it's going to be uncomfortable for them. If you do feel like you made it too tight, you can always sort of hold onto the elastic and free up the tightness with the tail of the rat tail comb. Now for the second ponytail, I take all of the rest of the hair and I'm actually going to take that front ponytail and move it into the back ponytail, but I think there's a little bit less pressure and I'm able to direct that ponytail away from them so that they can see what they're doing. It's not really the traditional Yorkie hairstyle, but I think it's one that makes them so much more comfortable and it's more effective at keeping their hair out of the way so that they can see what they're doing. So this is how I groom my Yorkie face and it's really easy. I do this every single day. The dogs love the time and it's just my in-between grooming appointments thing that I do. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and just let me know any comments that you have. I really look forward to talking to you guys soon. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.